Hey, it's Russell Lovers. Mark here from Whole Latte Love. Today, an in-depth look at the Gaja Carezza Deluxe. The Carezza Deluxe is in a class of machines that brew using a pressurized portafilter. These machines simplify home and office espresso brewing because they can work with pre-ground coffee and easy serve espresso pods. The benefit with either of those, you don't need a grinder or that barista training to get good results. In this video, we'll take a look at how to brew on the Carezza using pre-ground coffee and ESE pods, cover milk frothing with the easy to use auto frothing Panarello on, and we'll show you how to create milk for pouring latte art by easily converting the machine to manual frothing. Plus a look at key features that make the Carezza, in my opinion, the best available machine in its class. So, what makes the Carezza Deluxe best in class? Well, <laughs> that ability to froth for latte art out of the box, that's a big one. And we'll demonstrate that in a minute. It's something you really can't do with most other pressurized basket machines. Beyond that, there's a whole latte more to like. Automatic pre-infusion, larger filter baskets that accommodate actual real-life commercial-sized coffee doses, and a pressurized brewing system that uses commercial style baskets. So let's get right into those breakout features. First is that pre-infusion. It's something you usually only find on higher end machines or done manually by a barista. Pre-infusion wets the coffee briefly prior to full pressure brewing. Doing that causes the ground coffee to swell and it results in a deeper, more complete extraction of flavor. It's an advanced feature you don't find on other machines at this level. Second are those filter baskets. While competitors' machines often accommodate only about 12 grams of coffee, the Carezza's double basket holds as much as 18 grams. Now, 17 to 18 grams is pretty much the standard these days in most good cafes. The 12 grams in competing machines, yeah, they're probably gonna make for a somewhat weak and watery espresso. Third are the commercial style filter baskets. These are completely different and far better than what you'll find in competing machines. So in most pressurized machines, what you get is a filter basket with a single tiny little hole like this one. That single hole is what builds up the pressure that defines the espresso brewing process. The Carezza's baskets, on the other hand, look just like what you'd find used in regular commercial espresso machines. It has hundreds of holes. Then in the bottom section of the portafilter, there's a restriction. This setup is unique, and in combination with pre-infusion and higher coffee dosing, you're gonna get a fuller extraction of coffee, making for a much better finished espresso than is possible on competing machines. Let's take a look at how to use the machine. With the portafilter locked in, turn the machine on. As it heats up, it will run a short preheat rinse cycle. From turn on to brew ready, it only takes about a minute. Once the brew light is on solid, the machine is ready for use. Brewing with ESE pods is simple. Just place the pod adapter into the portafilter and then place the pod filter basket on top. Insert a pod and attach the portafilter to the machine. Press the brew button and brew about one ounce or 30 milliliters. To use pre-ground coffee, make sure the pot adapter is removed and place the double shot filter basket in the port of filter. Fill to the rim with pre-ground espresso coffee and level off. Attach the port of filter to the machine, press the brew button and allow two ounces or 60 milliliters of espresso to brew. Now in a minute, I'll show you how to convert the machine to manual frothing to get a super fine microphone for pouring latte art. But first, how to use the auto frothing Panarello wand. To make a latte or a cappuccino, brew an espresso into a suitable cup, then press the steam button. The machine will take a few seconds to reach steam temperature. While the machine is heating, fill a steaming pitcher with two to three ounces of cold milk for a cappuccino or three to six ounces for a latte. Once up to steaming temperature, the steam light will stop flashing. Before steaming milk, turn the steam knob to purge residual water into the drip tray or another container. Once only steam comes out, close the knob and place the tip of the wand below the surface of the milk in the pitcher. Open the steam knob. The auto frothing Panarello wand automatically mixes air into the milk while heating it. For a cappuccino style froth, continue heating in this position until the outside of the pitcher is just getting uncomfortable to hold due to heating. For a less frothy latte style milk, once the 
outside of the pitcher starts to just feel warm, position the wand deeper into the milk to the point of covering the air intake hole. Covering that hole with milk stops air injection. For a cappuccino or latte, just continue heating and swirling the milk until the outside of the pitcher is just starting to get uncomfortable to hold, which indicates a temperature of about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, equal to 60 degrees Celsius. When your milk is up to temperature, turn off the steam, remove the pitcher, and then open the knob again to purge any milk in the wand. Following that, wipe down the wand with a clean cloth. Finish your drink by pouring the milk over your espresso. Now, the auto frothing panorama wand, it makes things easy, but remove the wand and now you've got the ability to froth manually. With some practice, you'll be able to get a super fine microphone for pouring latte art. When frothing manually, it's all about steam tip position relative to the surface of the milk. When you start, you want the tip very close to the surface. In that position, small amounts of air get sucked into the milk. Once you've got a bit of air in and the outside of the pitcher begins to warm, you lower the wand tip just a little deeper and find a position that rolls the milk. That roll breaks up larger bubbles to give you a very fine milk texture. With a little practice, you'll get those barista skills down and create the super fine microfoam required for pouring latte art. Now, that's really cool and a capability you generally don't get on other machines in this class. The Carezza Deluxe features a retro Italian aesthetic. Size-wise, it's 11 inches wide by 12 and a half deep and 12 and 3 quarters high. So it's compact and there's no problem fitting it under 18 inch overhanging cabinetry. Again, from power on to ready to brew, it's only about a minute. That's fast and you don't have to worry about turning it off. That happens automatically after nine minutes of no use. On the front panel are a temperature gauge, buttons for power, brew, water, and steam, and that knob for turning on steam and hot water. The water reservoir slides out from the front of the machine and has a clear window for monitoring water level. The reservoir accepts the Mavia Intenza Plus water filter, which removes chlorine and softens hard water to improve flavor and prevent scale buildup. A large drip tray slides out from the front for easy emptying. On top of the machine, there's a heated metallic cup warming surface. With features like the ability to steam manually for latte art, pre-infusion, and commercial style filter baskets which accommodate those commercial sized coffee doses, the Carezza Deluxe is, in my opinion, the best available machine for those looking to get into espresso and milk-based beverages without the hassle or expense of a grinder. It's got those capabilities you're gonna want. It's attractive, compact, and quick, ready to brew in about one minute, and no worries with that automatic shutoff. That's the Gaja Carezza Deluxe. It's available now at Whole Latte Love. Have any questions about this machine or anything coffee? Use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.